I don't want to know. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. If you knew the truth about most fast food places, you might change your mind about a few items on the menu. These are 15 fast food facts you don't want to know. Beaver secretion or flavor enhancer? This tastes kind of funny. Yep, beavers play a role in creating some of your favorite sweet flavors and smells. Beavers have an anal gland that secretes a substance people have used as a flavor and scent enhancer in both foods and perfume. The secretion used is called castorium. This secretion is a way for beavers to mark their territory. However, when the substance goes through the right processing, it ends up smelling sweet and a lot like vanilla. So good. Because of this, it's used to enhance vanilla flavors in fast foods, and it's even used to add vanilla flavors to perfumes. The worst part? This ingredient can often be added to foods while only being labeled in the ingredients list as natural flavoring. McDonald's and Silly Putty. Still sticky. It's well known that most fast food companies use additives to enhance their food's flavors or appearance, but this one might be one of the more surprising. Some fast foods contain ingredients found in Silly Putty. Yup, as in the same Silly Putty you loved as a kid. The ingredient is dimethyl polysilicane, and it's a silicone that's used to make the Silly Putty we all know and love, and it's also used in cosmetics. But it's added to McDonald's chicken and fish sandwich patties because of its defoaming quality. It can also be found in other deep-fried foods like french fries. Bugs make their way into your favorite dishes and dips. Consider that a bonus. Creepy crawlies in your food? Sounds like the last thing you'd want or expect. But the FDA allows a certain number of bugs and eggs to be present in foods. And yes, that's including the foods you treat yourself to at fast food restaurants or even the food you buy at the grocery store. While the idea of bugs in food might sound unnerving, they aren't harmful to your health. They're also unavoidable in the production of processed food. So instead, the FDA places quality control based on the number of allowable contaminants. And in some cases, the use of bugs in fast food is intentional. It's normal. It's totally normal. It used to be common practice to use the cochineal beetle as a red food coloring for drinks and foods. This particular food coloring is called carmine. Starbucks used to use this in their frappuccinos, and BBC News shared that it's also not unheard of for it to show up in grocery store items like yogurt. But don't worry, even though there might be a serious ick factor, the bugs are actually safe to consume and have been used for centuries, dating back to the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. More to fast food eggs than meets the eye. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, am I right? Fast food eggs are often made with extra ingredients to help improve the shelf life and the way they cook. In some cases, many places just use powdered eggs. One of the franchises with the most additives in their eggs is Subway. Sure, there is actual egg in them, but they also have additives like glycerin and propylene glycol. Neither of these sounds like something you'd want to find in your egg sandwich. Many other fast food spots that have eggs on their menu often have the additives included in the ingredient list. Eggs at Taco Bell, Panera Bread, and Dunkin' contain additives like xanthan gum, citric acid, and soybean oil. What's in that drink? Fast food drink machines are notoriously germ-infested. They're hard to clean, and apparently, they become carriers of fecal bacteria like coliform bacteria and E. coli. A study revealed that in a test of 90 drinks, 48% of them, that's almost half, had been contaminated in some form. On top of this, when reporting about the study, CNN stated that, according to the findings, many of the soda beverages from the dispensers fell below U.S. drinking water standards. That definitely gives reason to pause the next time you go to fill up your cup with your favorite soda. The canned or bottled versions might be the better and safer option. <laughs> it also needs to be mentioned that drink machines aren't the only places in fast food restaurants that get contaminated with these types of bacteria. Those touchscreen menus that make placing an order in the building so easy also tested positive for these contaminants. So maybe ordering from the cashier might be the better option if you want to avoid unwanted contaminants. Before we reveal more, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now more of what you don't want to know. Fast food wrappers and chemicals. I gotta think bigger. I mean, it's not even poisonous. 
It seems like chemicals sneak up everywhere in the fast food industry, and apparently food wrappers are not the exception to this rule. Materials that stop grease, oils, and liquid from seeping through food wrappers have been found to include chemicals that are harmful to both people and the environment. The chemicals of concern? PFAs, or per and polyfluoroalkyl chemicals. The CDC has stated that these chemicals should be considered harmful to people because they reduce immunity and resistance to infections. Definitely something worth thinking about the next time you order your meal to go. The grilled look and flavor are fake. These are fake! Who doesn't love a flame-grilled burger fresh off an open flame cooktop? Fast food companies that serve burgers know that this is what people love, so many of them recreate this look and taste. Only they do this artificially. Those flame-grilled char marks? They were added during production. That smoky flavor? It was added using a smoke flavoring. This creates the look, smell, and flavor of a fresh fire-grilled burger without actually flame-grilling anything. How do they do it? The smoke flavor is produced by trapping the smoke in liquid. It essentially becomes liquid smoke, and the grill marks are seared on during production with a rotary brander. The truth is, fast food outlets aren't the only ones to use this trick. So do meat producers for grocery stores and more. Photos of food are doctored. Celebrities aren't the only ones using Photoshop before posting their pics. Here's why the Big Mac you ordered never looks like the one you saw on TV. Those delicious-looking photos that feature your favorite burger and sides have been carefully put together to make them look delicious and appetizing. Not only are they Photoshop, but they've also been carefully crafted and arranged for the photo. Consumer Report did a small sample of popular fast food restaurants to see how their actual menu items compare to the photos, and not one of them held up. So what's the difference between the photos and the real thing? According to food stylists, the products in the photos include things like undercooked beef patties, toppings held on with pins, and more little details to create the perfect, enticing look. It's even rumored that eyeliner is used to enhance grill marks for the perfect, fresh-from-the-grill look. Creative. So as much as we'd love our burgers and fries to look just like the photo, the reality is that's not at all what that food looks like when it's prepared for you. But based on what's done to make it look that way, you probably wouldn't want the burger in the picture anyway. That is, if you prefer your food to actually be edible. More than just random colors. What's your favorite color? Black. Have you ever noticed that there's a color theme at many fast food places? And not only that, but many of these places have shared common colors. And these shared colors aren't just found in logos, but in the interior decor of restaurants and food packaging as well. There's a reason for this. Commonly used fast food colors like yellow, orange, and red have been revealed to increase our appetite and make people eat more quickly. And when you're at a company selling food, that's extra cash in your pocket. There's even a term for this in the marketing world. It's known as the ketchup and mustard theory. As much as you might not want to believe it, these colors are used as a psychological trick to get you in the door and ordering more. While attention-grabbing, these colors aren't just there for fun. Chicken nuggets are just bits and pieces. Here's your nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Rumors about chicken nuggets have been circling the internet for a while, but what do we really know about chicken nuggets? Well, the truth may still be a little unsettling. The American Journal of Medicine has revealed that chicken nuggets are mostly made up of chicken fat, tendons, and bones. And rumor has it that before being deep fried, chicken nuggets will melt if left sitting at room temperature for too long. Eat This Not That of Web and Book series fame theorizes that the nuggets can melt because they're made up of very finely ground up chicken parts and additives held together with water. That definitely qualifies as a secret that fast food restaurants don't want you to know, because melty chicken nuggets are insanely unappealing. Salads and greens and chemicals, oh my! Think that adding lettuce to your meal or opting for a salad is making for a healthier visit to your local fast food chain? Well, think again. 
fake bark. Lettuce and greens tend to be sprayed to keep things crisper, and they often sit for a few days after being prepared. So they're covered in chemicals and aren't even fresh. On top of that, calories and nutrition-wise, sometimes the salads can actually be more than the greasy burgers or chicken sandwiches available on the menu. So even though you're trying to do the right thing by ordering something like a salad, thinking it's the healthier choice, that isn't always the case. You have to navigate the menu carefully if you're trying to make a healthy and more calorie-wise meal choice. What's really in fast food beef? It's meat, although none of it was meat. Fast food burgers go through a lot of processing before being served up at your go-to fast food spot. And because they're mass-produced, there can be meat from as many as 100 cows in each burger. It also includes parts of cattle you wouldn't expect. Consumer Report explains that 100% pure beef can contain things like the esophagus, diaphragm, and defatted chopped beef. And while many places claim to use 100% beef, in the cooking process, they're often mixed with other things like seasonings that can be filled with additives that make these burgers more addicting. Drinks are sweeter than their bottled version. I'll take a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? To keep you coming back for more, fast food chains serve up delicious food, and that includes those thirst-quenching drinks you get with your meal. But what makes them different from the version you get in stores? The companies claim it's their chilling process, but some theorize that it's the higher addition of high-fructose corn syrup that gives it a sweeter, more satisfying taste, which makes you want more of it. It's no secret that high-fructose corn syrup isn't healthy. It's linked to health concerns like diabetes and heart disease. Heart attack! So your fast food visit might be serving you more sugary stuff than you asked for. Drinks aren't the only place you'll find the addition of this sweet additive. It shows up in dipping sauces, desserts, and more. Milkshakes don't contain very much milk. Gotta know what a $5 shake tastes like. Who doesn't love a cold, delicious milkshake? They're the yeah. perfect sweet treat for dessert or to have with your burger and fries. But did you know that milk isn't a key ingredient in many fast food milkshakes, including those you get from McDonald's? They do include dairy-based ingredients, but the milk fat content determines whether or not something is officially ice cream or a milkshake. The trick to figuring it out? Is the item listed on the menu as ice cream or a milkshake? If not, that means the actual milk fat content is too low to be labeled as a milkshake or ice cream. That doesn't mean they aren't delicious, though. A lot of fast food sundaes and shakes have become must-haves when craving an ice cream treat. Subway bread and yoga mats. Azodicarbinamide is a chemical used to make things like yoga mats and rubber shoes. And guess what? It was also once used in Subway bread to bleach and condition the dough. It's now been phased out. But what's not discussed as much is that Subway wasn't the only restaurant or food producer using this ingredient for their food. Places like Wendy's, White Castle, and McDonald's are all speculated to have used this ingredient too. Objection! Unhealthy! And while the FDA does approve of this being used in small amounts for food, it has caused quite a controversy among activists and fast food fans. So many companies have phased it out. And the phasing out of this additive is probably for the best because it has been linked to several health concerns. Plus, the idea you're consuming something that's part of your yoga mat just doesn't sit right. Stay right here and tap or click another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.